In this video, we're going to give you a real-time update of where we are and what in the world we're doing. And we'll also answer the two biggest questions that we get. That is, how much fuel did we burn to go to the Bahamas from Gananoque? Yeah. And how much did it cost? Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Real-time update. We Real. are in Gananoque, Ontario, Canada. We are back from the Bahamas. Yes. We have a short-term rental uh, because our boat is in Brewerton, New York, in a place called Winter Harbor, getting repaired from our Bahamas accident. More on that in an upcoming episode, uh, so stay tuned. So we know we're pretty slow on getting our Bahama videos out. Yeah, the, cru the cruising videos take, you know, Time. 40 hours <laughs> maybe to actually fully go through the videos and edit. There's a lot yeah. of video. Yeah. So with us working up here in Canada now, it's really hard to get videos out really fast. So we're yeah. sorry we can't do that. You yes. know, we, our videos in real time. It's just the way that it is and the way our lives are right now. So what we're going to do is put together some Q&A videos. Uh, this way they're really short, a lot shorter. Uh, we can get them done faster and put them out in between the big cruising videos. Yes. Um, we get lots of questions and things that we've you know, not really answered in the cruising videos. We've answered them in the you know, YouTube comments or blog comments or uh, email, which we get a lot of email asking questions. So we're going to do that in this series. We've got a ton of questions to answer. But in this video, we're going to answer about our fuel burn on the w and cost on the way down to the Bahamas from Gananoque to actually to Mangrove Key in the Bahamas, which is what, where we went when we crossed from Florida to Mangrove Key. Okay, everyone. So before we get to um, the two biggest questions you guys have had, which is fuel burn and how much did it cost to go to the Bahamas, I just want to give you a, a quick overview of my boat so that you have some context of what what it is. So we have a, a 44 Tolly Craft. It's a 1991. It's 28,000 pounds dry weight, so without fuel and water and gear aboard. Um, she has a set of twin 3208 turbo and after-cooled Caterpillar engines. Um, so when you hear these numbers, keep that in mind because uh, if you're comparing it to a boat that you have or you want in the future, you can use that to compare and contrast based on engines and the boat you're looking at. So first off, we're going to run through a few numbers to give some context around the um, around the fuel usage and the, and, and the cost. The first number is the number of days that it took for us to cruise, that's cruising days to get from Gananoque to Mangrove Key, Bahamas. And that number is... 37 days. days. So the number of days it actually took to get to the Bahamas, to Mangrove Key from the Bahamas, so this is waiting for weather windows, um, and everything like that, doing provisioning and stuff like that, waiting for um, a good conditions to cross to the Bahamas, across yeah. the Gulf Stream. Uh, the number of days total that that took was... 56 days. So that's close to two months. Yes. Um, so if you're planning a trip like this, you should know to, to get from here to there, um, it's going to take, Some you know, a, a couple of months probably with, uh, with the weather. Uh, you can do it in shorter time if you have good weather, but uh, I would say a lot for two months to get down there. So the next number is the total number of hours we put on the engines to go from here to Mangrove Key. Which is 253 hours. So that's... Both 
both engines running 253 hours. So if you're going to go on a trip like that, yep. be known that you're going to put uh, 250 hours on your engines. If you're going, uh, now we go, we went about seven and a half, eight knots most of the way down. Yes. And that makes sense. with the, the occasional every few days going on plane for 20 minutes, um, had about 20 knots. So, you know, take that into consideration as well. If you have yeah, a slower definitely. boat, slower boat, you're definitely going to do 250 hours. Yeah. Faster boat, you can do it, do it faster. But why would you want to do it faster? Because yeah, we enjoyed it. It's a beautiful trip. Just slow down, enjoy it. In a lot of places through there, you can't go fast anyway. Yeah. You're just just a hassle. Either you're in a small narrow channel, or it's um, too like too many shoals around to even take a chance, or it's just too many boats around you're just up and down off on and off plane anyway so it's just a hassle just you know take your time and enjoy it so the next number is uh, how many uh, how far did we travel in terms of distance yes. um, from here to Canada to the Bahamas and that is 1776 nautical miles yes. which is 2044 statute miles and it's 3,289 kilometers for our Canadian friends. That's a bit of distance, Sheldon. All right, so here's one of the big numbers you're going to be curious about. So how much fuel did we burn going from here to the Bahamas? 777 .7 gallons. So that's just the engines. Uh, that is not including the generator. Um, we lost we lost the ability to track what the generator was burning and the hours on the generator uh, shortly after we left. So in order to get the number for the generator um, and include that, I had to work out some numbers. So all the, all of it was in a spreadsheet and everything. So the 777.7 .7 is very accurate. It comes from the fuel flow meters. Um, and me, me verifying it in a spreadsheet based on the fuel purchased. Um, but the generator is slightly estimated. So I'll just give you a couple generator numbers that are estimated um, so that I can give you a total fuel that we, in gallons, that we burned to go down, including the generator. So the generator burned um, 0 0.7 gallons per day. And that is about 20 gallons a month. So on the whole trip down, we probably burn 40 gallons of fuel in the generator. So the total amount of gallons that we burn on the way down, including the generator, is... 816.9 gallons. Of fuel. Which is not bad. No. It's, um, it's very reasonable. It's not... Uh, it is what it is. I actually thought I would burn more. So here's one of the most interesting numbers that everybody asks for. So combined burn on my engines. Um, this is calculated with the flow, fuel flow meters and verified in spreadsheets with the fuel and everything. Is 3.11 gallons per hour. That is, works out to 2.3 nautical miles per gallon. 3.11 gallons per hour. Sheldon loves his engines. Just gotta say, yeah, you're I thought, proud I, of Yeah, I this. thought they would burn more. So I don't, I don't know if it's... Uh, we ran a 7.5 to 8 knots. And that, to run at that speed in my boat, it's, you know, your RPMs is about 1,050. Which is a little, which is a little low. The engines want to be worked, um, so every four hours, eight hours, I try to get up on plane and burn and, and bring her up to a better operating temperature. Um, sometimes you just can't do that. Um, so on the, the next time we go down, I think we're going to try to run a little harder. Uh, we'll go on plane a little more, so we might see those numbers rise a little bit. But still, uh, if I was even up to four. I'm not sure he likes. <laughs> so here it is. Okay. The biggest number. This is the total amount we paid to get to the Bahamas in fuel. Is. Which is 
$58 US yes. to do it. So to go that distance, to do what we did, that's really not bad at all. No, I mean, not at all. We spent a lot more in other things, cruising amenities and... Fuel was not the fuel biggest was not expense. A, not, a big, not the biggest expense. It wasn't really a concern. Um, I don't know how we could have done it any cheaper, to be honest with you. No, I mean, you're going to pay that. We had to go for a flight somewhere, just for our quick. Yeah. yeah. So this is pretty good. So that's it. That's it for this video. We're going to do a lot more videos like this where we answer your questions. If you have a question and you'd like us to answer, please comment in the comments below. Uh, let us know what you would like to know about our trip, um, about planning, uh, yes. about what we might be doing coming up. If you haven't already done so, check out our latest video where we explore Allen's Pensacola. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Press the like button below. Yep, it really helps us out. Yeah. Press, uh, if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of every video that we upload, as soon as we upload, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that, you'll be notified every single time we yes. put something up. So thanks for watching, guys. We, uh, we really appreciate you guys being with us and following. Um, we really hope you enjoy your summer and we hope to see you on the water sometime in the future. Cheers! Cue the time lapse, cue the epic music.